Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me, Alicia, if this is your first time here, and if not, welcome back. All right, so if you are not following me on Instagram, and why not, you know that I had the kid. <laughs> um, so Alexander William was born on August the 23rd, really early in the morning, or early enough for me, 6.53, um, and so we're excited. So this video is really all gonna be about some of the pieces that I got that are going to allow me to transition between the nine month old Billy that I had and hopefully getting back to the goal is the pre-pandemic Alicia, which is a size six. But if I can get to the pre-pregnancy Alicia, which is a size eight, I'll definitely be more than happy. I'm definitely giving myself time because I realized that it took me nine months to get this body so I can't expect to go back in one or two months. So these are just some clothes that I saw was out online shopping just some clothes to help me transition from one body space to another one um got a couple of places in mind so i shopped at free people which if you haven't shopped at free people i know that depending on your budget it can be expensive but i love the quality of the clothing i love the way that the clothing makes me feel um the sizing is really all in, is really good um and then i got some stuff from h&m when they had a sale and i got let's see I got something from ASOS and then I got something from In The South. So a bunch of different stores. I only have a total of nine pieces because I'm not trying to get like outlandish with going and shopping on all these like postpartum stuff. A lot of the stuff that I got for pregnancy, I still want to be able to like wear it postpartum to slowly transition. But this is just some pieces that I saw on sale or Instagram made me buy it or I was influenced. I just kind of wanted to bring them here. Um, for reference, I will be two weeks postpartum um in a couple of days and if you didn't know i did have a cesarean section so not sure if that plays a role in it but just kind of wanted to throw that out there so we're gonna start with h m and then we'll move on to free people since those are the two places where i got a lot of stuff and then we'll trickle down to the one piece i got from asos and the one set that i got from in the style and i hope i'm saying that right because um I actually really love the set, so I'm probably going to be more of a customer um, than I realized. I was hesitant because the company is based in UK, so I wasn't sure how fast I would get the piece of item, like the clothing that I bought, but came relatively fast. So I'm going to stop talking. Also, it's the first weekend of um, college football, and you can't tell, but the TV is going on right here. So I'm going to try not to get distracted because the Oregon-Georgia game is going on right now, but... I've been missing college football since January, so I'm going to try to put that to the side for the next 30 minutes so I can bang out a video <laughs> for you guys. So let's just get right into it. I'll be, I'll have the piece on. I'll be talking about it here. I'll pop up a vertical piece um, of me. You actually seeing like the complete outfit or the complete piece that I'm trying on here so you guys can see a full, a full look instead of me having to like back up to the bathroom door. So talked a lot let's just get right into it all right so we have the first piece so i'm talking to you guys here and then i'm also going to have the picture in picture where i have my phone recording on this side so you guys can see the full look but this is a dress i was definitely influenced there's this um uh influencer i follow julie gosh i don't remember her last name um but she's a blogger based out of atlanta i randomly came upon her i want to say through pinterest and i started following her because we have the exact or some of the exact same body type like she's lower and she has like she carries more of her weight at the bottom i want to say we're about the same size like pre-pregnancy about an eight to ten so i like the way she puts clothes together anyway she had this dress on that she said came from h&m and she said they came out with it last season and it sold out so as soon as it came back in season this time i comped it because there was a 20 percent off um if you like i think there was some sale you know h&m always has a sale so i copped it she said true to size and so i got a medium now i probably could have gotten a small because i know with sweater dresses they run oversized so i did get a medium in this and like i said i probably definitely could have gotten a small but i didn't want it to fit too tight so i'm definitely happy with the medium so excited for this dress i see myself dressing this up with a pair of boots i see myself dressing this down with a pair of sneakers because you know i'm now responsible for a kid and stroller and diaper bag and there's a lot to carry to still be in boots so me and sneakers will probably be best good friends so love it it's definitely nice comfortable it is a little bit more on the 
like the thicker side so i probably wouldn't be able to wear this right now at the beginning of september but once again i'm buying all these fall clothes because i'm willing it in the south to get colder so definitely love this like i said i did get this in a size medium but probably definitely if i wanted to could have got a small i'm actually comfortable with this because it it hits at the right places without showing the um postpartum pooch so love it all right so this next one they're advertising it as a dress but i'm going to wear it as a cardigan only because i don't think that it's giving that much structure now granted i did get it oversized i got it in an extra large but i got it in an extra large because i knew that i wanted to wear it as a cardigan i had no intention on wearing it as a dress only because when it comes to these like buttons if i get my size it'll work up here but then when i get like down here to the hips because my hips are just larger than the rest of my body it has a tendency to like open like this and i just didn't want to have to deal with that so i got this with the sole purpose of doing a long line cardigans y'all know how i feel about long cardigans in the fall and the winter i love them i think it does the same thing like there's so many ways i can dress up my simple y'all know my uniform white tan jeans there's so many ways that i can dress it up and so for the fall and the winter i love being able to tack on it with like a long line cardigan or a cute moto jacket so this is just going to be another layering piece for me love it like i said i did get this in an extra large and i wouldn't have gotten anything smaller because i like my cardigans to feel oversized like i'm i would be concerned <laughs> what this would look like if i got it in a medium considering this is what it looks like in an extra large okay so i think besides the first dress that i tried on which that's definitely my favorite of the h m pieces that i got this is probably my second favorite and i think i just love these like i love the sleeves i thought i was gonna have to put on a shirt under it because it is a little sheer but it's not that sheer i mean i have on a black bra it's fine i love this i did envision wearing this with like a pair of 90s or a pair of like yeah 90 jeans or a pair of mom jeans which so this will probably have to be a little later in the postpartum journey when i feel like putting on jeans i don't anticipate putting on jeans probably to like week four <laughs> because that's when i heard like maybe the pooch goes down a little bit more um but yeah so i definitely feel like wearing this with a pair of nice mom jeans um like i said throw on a pair of mules this is definitely this is a mules sweatshirt this isn't a sneakers this isn't a boots i want to wear this with a pair of nice leopard or a colored mule i envision the mule being my pop of color love love this like i said it is definitely sheer so you see i don't know what you call this fringe something so it's definitely something that i can wear now because it has all of this room for breathing and layering and then maybe like when it gets like the dead of winter not that we'll probably ever see that but if it gets cold enough i could always throw a turtleneck under this and kind of have like a turtleneck effect with the long sleeves and that gives me a little bit of extra like layers if it's like really really cold once again i don't anticipate anticipating it being that cold in the south but every now and then we actually will have a winter one or two days and during those days i might throw a turtleneck under this but other than that love it love the design love the buttons definitely one of my favorite looks um, okay y'all know i normally don't do a lot of color but free people just doesn't for me so this is a set i actually got well this is a, i got a set a romper a jumpsuit and a dress i didn't realize i got four completely different pieces this is the first one this is a set even though it is blue i still absolutely love it i went online to get it in cream because once again instagram like i hear the tiktok made me buy it i have been following a lot of like i've been following the hashtag mid-size style and i love it because it's giving me um and it's a time to see like bloggers who are like my size so been able to follow a couple of them anyway this was on the list for a lot of them went online to try to buy it in cream it was sold out they only had it in my size and i did get a medium in the top and the bottom um and this color and they did have a small i was very hesitant about getting a small i'm glad i didn't i probably could have gotten the small on the top but the bottom no 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 so i'm happy that i got a medium in both sides so i was like you know what i'll just get the blue because i'm okay with the color blue so love this i think this is called the carter set nothing that i got from free people was on sale i'm pretty sure i just had a gift card from some stuff that i had taken back long long time ago 
um, that I was able to use. So none of this was on sale. Like I said, free people, though I absolutely love the quality. I'm aware that it's a little bit more expensive um, than like your H&M. So take that as you will. I love the quality of the clothing. I'm gonna stop rambling. This is a set, like I said, it's a top and a bottom. Got it as a separate. Love it. Very cute, very comfortable. The we are trying to go to the beach in October just because I need I need some kind of like beach vacation before we go into the holidays. So I anticipate us being able, like me being able to like wear this. Hopefully maybe with some sandals because maybe it'll still be warm at the beach. If not, I can always put on um some sneakers and be able to walk around with the kid so love this okay so i think this is probably my favorite piece from free people i am obsessed with this romper i literally got this romper with the sole purpose of being able to breastfeed because the buttons go all the way down like this is the last button so it's easy for me to like unbutton unbump and pop breastfeeding <laughs> um or when i'm pumping so you guys this romper i Let's get into the details, sorry. I don't know the name of the romper. I'm hoping that I'm putting up some details for you guys up here. Um, but I did get this in a large. I absolutely love it. I have also worn this on Instagram before. I actually mentioned it on Instagram and TikTok and this color sold out. <laughs> I don't know if it's restocked. I'm hoping that as I'm checking through the editing that I'm putting maybe something down here to let you guys know. But I have a tendency, if you don't follow me on Instagram or if you don't follow me on TikTok, follow me on one of those two platforms because if there's something that comes in and it's like really good I immediately want to share it because I know that by the time I get around to doing a video it's probably sold out so make sure you follow me on there if not I'm always posting it on my like to know it there's so many different ways to get access to like the stuff that I'm obsessed with before I actually get around to making a YouTube video this was one of those color sold out um they do have other colors but i just love how neutral and i i, I love it because it's like the perfect nude for me i've worn this i've worn it out a couple of times i've worn it to go run errands i've worn it to go do grocery shopping it's a little too casual for me to wear to like a nice brunch or like a nice dinner but if i'm going on like a coffee run quick Publix haul something like that it's easy for me to like throw on and go and it's still giving like a little bit of structure especially in like the bottoms I love the oversize of the arms it's just it's so much goodness I had to go back and get another color I just I love it so I did go back and I got it in black I'm gonna link all of the colors go on and get it like I said I did get a large I did wear this nine months so I'll even pop the video here she was nine months and the bump was bumping now that the bump's gone it still fits perfectly and that's why i got it was i really only got it for postpartum that when it came in i was like oh let me try it and see if it works and it was able to work at nine months pregnant that is a beauty that is free people so anyway gotta move on to let's let's try on this jumpsuit okay so i am obsessed with this jumpsuit the only reason why the romper is still my favorite of the purchase is because while i love this i'm gonna have to do a little bit to make it functional for me to be able to wear out and that is i'm going to have to cinch it because i mean you can see just wearing it as, as is it looks a little big like it looks like there's no structure to it right it looks like i don't have hips and thighs which i have a ton of so i'm going to have to belt it of some sort to be able to wear it like this i thought about and it just kind of depends on like if my tailor can do it i thought about pinching in the sides like this right but then if i do that i'm not going to be able to put it on and so then i thought about having her put in a zipper in the back once again, if she can do that, then that's the route that we're going to go because then I don't have to worry about wearing a belt. You see what I'm saying? Like if she can not take anything in, but like take this and pinch this and take this and pinch this to kind of give me something going on like that. And then in the back, put a zipper that way I can get in and out of it. If she can do that, she'll be my best friend. I mean, she already is my best friend, but should be my extra best friend if not i'm just gonna have to wear about with it but i love it i saw julie like i was talking about earlier wear this i've seen um jaleesa vaughn which is a nice um mid-sized blogger in dallas i've seen her wear this so i was like oh i'm sold 
great something for postpartum like i said it does definitely have the postpartum pooch but i did i just want something a little structured in this area like even if she does cinch it you still can't really see the pooch so i mean i'm probably going to wear with a belt with it like regardless because i kind of have somewhere i want to wear this to um sorry i'm looking down i'm actually looking in the mirror so yeah i like it cinched but in the meantime i'm definitely going to wear it with like a belt and just call it a day I even like the way I have my hair pinned up with it. Sorry, it got really hot in this room. <laughs> That's the one downside about just having like the chandelier without the ceiling fan and having all of these windows. It gets very hot. So hair went up, but I like that. I like how the hair is up. A couple pieces that are just like falling. It just looks like I like I tried, but I didn't try. I love the way that this looks. Anyway, yeah, love this. I think this is a Quinn jumpsuit, if I'm not mistaken. And I did get this in a large, um, probably could have gotten a medium, just being completely honest with you guys. Definitely probably could have gotten a medium. Um, but I'm happy because then it gives me extra room to be able to play with or like even extra room for my tailor to be able to play with if I want something more structured. I just... When it's more than just like taking something in, she starts to charge a lot of money. <laughs> and I know if we're like taking the sides in and then she's adding a zipper and I'm probably going to have her like take, because if she adds, you can't see it, but if she, t if she tucks it in like this, then it's not, it doesn't hit the floor. So then I'm going to want her to take out some of the bottom. I don't know. We'll see. I love it. I just know I'm going to have to do like either wear a belt or take it to her to get extra TLC in order for it to be like woo, tailor made for me so all right do we love this dress or do we love this dress I love this dress it's just the knit is so much goodness just really quick FYI as I'm doing the side picture I realized that because this dress is not sheer sheer but it's a little sheer so as a result you can see like my gray disposable undergarments just overlook that just pitch the dress because it's a really beautiful dress got this once again very easily i wasn't easily influenced i just really love the way that this dress felt i got it thinking that i could wear it now and i probably can on like 70s and cooler days right now where it's like sunny and 90 this isn't gonna work or even sunny at 80 this isn't gonna work um i picked your 70s and below because even though it's um basically sleeveless this is a very thick knit dress it's not something that's flimsy it's not something that's just going to easily like get torn or, or in the washing machine this is a very structured they took their time when they made this dress which i will forever be thankful but as such this isn't a summer this isn't a summer dress this is a definitely a fall and then of course in the winter time i don't anticipate putting anything under it just because i don't want to add to the bulkiness so i'll probably throw on um if you watch my fall essentials you know that i'm trying to find like a cute faux leather green jacket i picture wearing something like faux leather like a cropped faux leather moto jacket where that be all black or green or maybe like a camel color just something to go on top of it to add a second layer i don't picture wearing anything under it because like i said i don't want to add to the bulkiness that already is this dress but we like it we love it did get it in a large and once again this is one of those where i can easily pair it with a pair of sneakers or a pair of boots depending on the occasion so love that um okay so this is the dress that i'm talking about i really quickly i literally only got this dress because i was shopping on asos for some sneakers i realized that um i don't have a lot of cute low profile sneakers so i was online got a pair of nikes got a pair of new balances and i was like hmm, let me see what else they have and so i picked this up because i don't have a gray sweater dress i wasn't aware of these very very loud diamond of not like it nothing about these buttons go with this dress whatsoever so i'm going to go to hobby lobby at some point this week 
and try to find buttons to replace it if buttons just don't like stick out at me i am going to send this back because i'm never going to wear this um as is i did get this in a medium i don't know why i didn't get this in the large maybe because the large wasn't available so i did get this in a medium it's just a gray dress it's just a simple gray sweater dress i will say it's not as heavy as a normal sweater dress so i like it that it's gives me a little bit of layers but not like overly not like overly heavy overly bulky i'm able to like push the sleeves up without it being too too much if it's like too warm outside so it's just an overall great sweater casual dress that i'm definitely gonna pair it with some um sneakers i, I figure sneakers works well for this i don't really do sweater dresses to the knee to the knee with mules it's either sneakers or it's a boot i don't think a mule really goes right with the way that i pair it with so but anyway love it i want to say it was relatively inexpensive i want to say that's why i picked it up but this is cute if i can find some different buttons if i can't i picture them with them just being just plain black buttons or like a really really dark brown if i can find a gray ooh, i wonder if i could do gray buttons it's actually what i'm going to try to find so in order of importance gray black or a really really dark brown if i can't find either of those that like are this size and i can easily have my mom replace them then this is going to go back but cute simple great dress so last but not least let's try on like i said this is a new store it's my first time buying something from this is actually a collaboration that they did with a blogger i just recently found it's a uk blogger um and she did a collaboration with them and i was like oh this is cute let me pick it up um so yeah let's try that on and then let's wrap up this video okay so like i said this is a two-piece set i was on instagram shop i don't remember what i was doing guys it was late at night most of the shopping that i've done if i'm not mistaken all of the shopping that i just did postpartum was late at night when the kid was keeping me up and i had nothing else to do but scroll on my phone so this was one of those i was shopping or i was going on the explorer page came across this brand called in the style it's really big overseas in the uk and um in europe and this was a collaboration they did with a blogger gosh what is her name lorna I can't remember the last name on her Instagram, Lorna or something. Anyway, she did a collaboration with In The Style and apparently she's done several other collaborations with them. This was the set that kind of caught me like by surprise. I absolutely love it. One, it's neutral. Two, it's a set. You guys know I've been really loving a good matching set. And then one of the main things that I really loved it was that I'm able to wear it now. So a lot of the pieces that I've showed you guys I could probably wear now but it'll be a struggle like I can wear the romper now and I could probably wear the two piece like the blue set from free people I could wear that now and maybe even a jumpsuit but some of the other stuff especially the stuff that I got from H&M that's really like later on when Alabama decides that it wants to be fall and the leaves start to changing and the winds a little bit windier so I like this that I can wear it now I this is also one of those that I've worn at nine months pregnant so even though i'm able to wear it now i did get a 10 in the top and the bottom the the stretch material on these shorts is like no other because i stretch these shorts to the max because i did wear this out when i was nine months pregnant and it still looks cute and i look like a oompa loompa because the belly was out but i love that this was able to like stretch to fit my nine month old belly and then also come back down for the postpartum i absolutely love the set it's cute it's comfortable the shorts aren't too short um to where i'm like digging at them or anything like that i will have to say the more you're walking around in them the my especially for me because i have a lot of thighs they begin to ride in the middle of the thighs but that's just something that i have to expect with most of any shorts that i get just based on the thickness that is my thighs it's just it's a curse that i'm okay with bearing so absolutely love this neutral set um i haven't bought anything else from them because i really haven't logged back onto their website but it's definitely one of those that i'll probably keep I can't follow them on Instagram. I was going to, but I was like, I can't because 
I try not to follow, like I can't follow free people. I don't follow H&M. I can't follow them because I will be shopping from them every single week. Like they'll post something like, oh my God, that's cute. And before you know it, I would have checked out. So I don't follow the places that I shop at frequently. I cannot follow them on social media because my wallet and my budget just will not let that happen. So I'll go on there periodically when I'm like, mm, I'm in the mood to shop, then I'll go check. Other than that, we, we keep that, mm -mm. for my budget's sake, we don't do that. So, I'll probably go online every couple months to see what they have, but this is one of those sets that I'm not mad about it. I actually really love it. All right, so guys, that is the end of what I'm assuming is a very, very long postpartum haul. I actually don't know how long this has taken. I know for me, it's taking quite a long time because I'm watching the football game. So I'm like trying on an outfit, telling you guys that I'm sitting down watching parts, parts of the game. So I'm hoping that as I'm editing, it doesn't take that long for me to put this video together. Um, I'm pretty sure with the exception of this, I don't know if they still have this in. Cause like I said, it was a collaboration with a blogger and I don't know if it's still in stock. If it is, I definitely Definitely will link it if not I'm pretty sure I can link absolutely everything else um, for you guys and I will make sure that I put the sizes that I have on here like, like I said for reference I was a six pre pandemic I was an eight post pandemic and um, during pregnancy I was about a 10 to 12 probably leaning more it was literally in the middle it just depends on where you are so I will make sure that I put what I ordered and then the sizes beside them I don't know how much I weigh um, for the sake of my mental health I'm not going to get on a scale until I'm at a weight where I feel comfortable um, so we're we're not we're not weighing ourselves I'm not gonna do that to myself because I just I just pushed out a baby I'm not getting on the scale. I don't anticipate getting on the scale until December 1st. <laughs> so that is where we are. So if you have reached this part of the video, you have not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Also click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. While you're here, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. The next video will be a vlog about me and William navigating parenthood. I was going to do one this past week, but we've had so many people in the house. My sister is currently living with us because she's had house issues. My mother-in-law is here, so I didn't want to be putting people that you normally don't see on a vlog. So next week they will be gone. Um, so we're gonna do the next one will be a vlog about me and William navigating the space as new parents y'all pray for me <laughs> anyway i will see you guys next sunday at seven o'clock